Me again. Time for our second part of Elma. Are you sitting comfortably? Okay, so we remember Elma was making everybody laugh all the time. Because he was a different colour to all the other, other elephants. Elma slipped away quietly unnoticed one night. walk through the jungle, Elma met other animals. They always said, good morning Elma. Each time, Elma smiled and said, good morning. After a long walk, Elma found what he was looking for, a large bush. A large bush covered with berries. A large bush covered with elephant coloured berries. Elma caught hold of the bush and shook it and shook it so that the berries fell onto the ground. Once the ground was covered in berries, Elma lay down and rolled over and over, that way, this way and that way and back again. Then he picked up bunches of berries and rubbed himself all over, covering himself with berry juice until there wasn't a sign of any yellow or orange or red or purple or pink or blue or green or black or white. When he had finished, Elma looked like any other elephant. After that, Elma set off back to the herd. On the way, he passed the other animals again. This time, each one said to him, good morning, elephant. And each time Elma smiled and said, good morning pleased that he wasn't recognised. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. So Alma now is the same colour as all the other elephants. Now for our second activity, our second challenge, we're going to go over to our craft area and we're going to make our very own Alma. Have you got your milk bottles ready? Come on. Hello. We are now in our craft area. We do lots of things over here. We've got our painting, our junk modelling, but today our activity, we are going to make our very own Alma. A colourful Alma out of milk bottles. Okay. It's a little bit tricky, so you are going to need adult help, especially at the beginning when we need to cut around the milk bottle to get the elephant shape, okay? Parents, are you watching? Now, we're going to start with a milk bottle, okay? This part is going to be the trunk. I'm going to cut the bottom bit here all the way along so we take this bottom bit off. It's a bit tricky, so hang on. Now, don't forget, your scissors are sharp, so let the adult do the cutting for you to start with. Oh. You might need some really sharp scissors. Trunks off. Right, now we're going to cut around the milk bottle to get the base. You must be really careful as well because sometimes the milk bottle can be a little bit sharp on the bottom. Right, so we're going to put that over here because we will need that later. Okay, it's a bit of a wibbly wobbly shape, so I'm going to Strain it out to the bottom. And I want my Elma to have a slightly shorter trunk. So I'm going to snip that bottom bit off. There we go. Put that over there. Looking a little bit more like an elephant already. Now, in your activity pack, you have got lots and lots of gum paper. So it's lots of different colours. And with that, with that, you don't need any glue. You just lick it or you can wet it and you can stick it on. Now, I don't have any gum paper, but I do have tissue paper. So I'm going to glue mine on to the elephant, okay? But you can just lick and stick or wet and stick yours, whatever colour you like. Now, there's something missing from the elephant. Hmm. These, they're ears. So what you're going to do 
if you're brave enough, you can try and do it yourself, or again, get an adult to help you. You're going to use this part to cut out an ear shape. What we'll need, straight at the top there, and then come out into an ear shape. We only have that bit so we can slot it into the milk carton. Okay? Now this next part, it is tricky. After this, it gets lots of fun and really, really easy. We need to make some little slits down the side so we can put our ears in, okay? Now I'm gonna use some really sharp scissors to poke a hole in and cut a line. Sometimes it's good to have a bit of blue tack on your finger to put underneath so when you push the scissors through, parents, it won't hurt you. So we'll make a little hole like this, twist, 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 there we go. And then the other side, a little hole, twist, 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 twist. There we go, that's why you need sharp scissors. Okay, I'm going to poke the scissors in, I'll hold onto the trunk, and I'm going to make a little line up so I can fit my ears in. We are going to cover Elmer, Elmer in lots and lots of bright coloured paper. Or you can just make a yellow elephant or a purple elephant or a black and white elephant, whatever you would like. So, actually, I'm going to cover my elephant all in glue first, like this. It doesn't have lots of glue. There we go. And it does get very, very sticky. all over so I can stick my tissue paper on but don't forget you don't need glue you can just lick and stick or wet and stick no problem and on the top of the head there we go and I think I might have enough glue now get my paper I might have yellow there and it's a good idea to say the colours as you're sticking them on remind yourself and I've got a red. There we go. Purple. Blue. Right. There we go. All the way over. So you're going to cover it all the way over. Right, now I've covered all my Elmer in lots of different colours. It's still a little bit sticky, okay? And then I've also covered my ears that I cut out earlier. So now I've got to slot the ears in. It's a bit tricky, you have to try and find, if you're like me, I've papered over the slits in it. So I'm going to find the hole here again. Ah, hang on. Might need a little, you'll be all right because you've got gum paper, but I might need to repair this a little bit with the tissue. Anyway, once you put the ear through, it will look like this. What are we missing? Ah, the eyes. So, children, you can do this easy. Get yourself a black pen and draw two black circles like that and then you can cut around the circles leaving a little bit of the white like so so you've got them like that okay and they're going to be stuck right there okay now i've got a bit of a wounded elmer down here so i'm not going to stick it on that one just yet and get it to dry so now children you have your elmer you've got the ears you've got all the multicolors. 
and you've got your eyes and your trunk. I wonder what colour your eyes going to be. 